Yeah, thankfully, um, I mean, everything up here has been so quiet. Yeah. All eyes have been on Florida. I know we've been talking a lot about the hurricane, the track of it. Uh, just so everybody knows, the forecast here has been very simple. We had a couple of thunderstorms up in the Cascades, northern Cascades today. Other than that, very quiet. Temperatures right now, 50s and 60s. Very uh, pretty much cotton copy of where we were at this hour yesterday. Also, by the way, we did manage to get into the 80s in a couple spots. Seattle, Bremerton pointing southward, all of us in the 80s around Puget Sound. We did have some cool spots. Oak Harbor giving you a shout out. 67 is all you topped out today. Feeling a little more on the brisk side and then Port Angeles at 69 while everybody else was a little bit more on the toasty side. Now those thunderstorms I was talking about, they're shifting out of here. All right, they're moving to the east. Uh, it looks like we're seeing a lot of that activity still firing up and it, uh, most of it's on the other side of the international border. It does look like we will be quiet through the overnight hours tonight. The only change is going to be in the morning cloud cover. OK, so we're going to track a little bit of that in the morning. Oh, yeah, back to school forecast. It's here, believe it or not. All right, we're going to keep this thing going. Uh, temperatures in the morning, upper 50s and low 60s. You're going to have that marine layer move through and then it pushes back out to mostly sunny skies. So for the kiddos, definitely grab something to cover their arms if they got to go to the bus stop or anything like that, because it could be a little cool in the morning, but midday, definitely warm afternoon. Nice. We'll be right around that 80 degree figure yet again, but the cloud cover in the morning, like I said, last till late morning hours, maybe midday, and then it should be nothing but mostly sunny skies. Okay, so we head into the weekend because we already know the rest of this week's looking pretty good. This system is something we're going to keep our eye on. Now, the timing of it's going to be unique because it is slowly working its way eastward, but uh, Will it be here Saturday? Will it be here Sunday? Will it be here early next week? It does look like it could hold off till about a Sunday, Monday time frame. And so if that happens, here comes the rain. We could be talking about widespread rain as we head into early next week. I'm going to stop it at 2 o'clock in the afternoon Monday just to let you know. I don't know how much the weekend will be impaired, but we will be increasing the cloud cover over Saturday into Sunday and then eventually Monday comes in the form of rainfall. So temperature wise, looks like we'll continue to stay on the warm side through the end of the week and then we start to see those temperatures tumble. We could go down to the upper 60s to low 70s by Sunday, Monday. Yeah, it's been a while since we've had a 60 degree figure as a daytime high, but there's a look at the extended period. I do have a couple of days to maybe see a couple showers. Thursday will be down in the southern part of the zones. And then again, Sunday and Monday was that storm I was just telling you about. There it is.